The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Attention sky watchers, this is for you. The Geminid meteor shower peaks tonight. The best time to see this meteor shower between about 2 p.m. and about 2 a.m. where you could see a couple of dozen per hour. Now I always say you want to go to a place where there's not a lot of ambient light. We're going to be aided by not a whole lot of moonlight. So I'd go up to the parkway, look over and overlook, and I think at that point in time you will uh, like what you see. All right, as far as the radar is concerned, it's all quiet for us right now. However, as we expand the picture for you, you'll notice, friends, that we do have one storm system out to the west of us. This storm system producing rain, extending really from uh, Nebraska south into Texas. We also have another storm system we're watching this one out over Florida. These two systems are going to combine or phase into one and provide a nor'easter for the east coast here as we head into Sunday and Monday. But for now, future tracker shows tonight. No weather worries. We're mainly clear Friday 7 a.m. Sunshine Friday at 5 p.m. We're still holding on to those mostly sunny skies. We're still fair Friday night. Saturday starts pretty bright and sunny, but Saturday will end with a little more cloud cover. We're dry all day on Saturday. Just no clouds are going to thicken for us out ahead of our next weather maker by Saturday afternoon. Watching one, two, three different pieces of energy and the Sunday setup will uh, likely have all three of these pieces of energy forming one or phasing into one. And at that point in time, we're going to get in on a lot of rain. Rain starts for us Sunday morning. It's with us Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening. We're still going to have maybe a couple leftover showers even into Monday, but we're looking at about one to three inches of rain out of this uh, next weather maker, this next nor'easter for us. In addition to that, we're going to have some very strong wind gusts pushing in later Sunday, Sunday night into at least the first part of the day Monday. Now, as far as how much rain we see here Sunday into early Monday, I'd say most areas about one to two, one to three inches of rain head our way. I think there's a very strong likelihood that we're going to be issuing a weather authority alert day for Sunday. Now, as far as your aches and pains forecast is concerned, uh, the air pressure is going to be pretty high Saturday night. It drops big time Sunday late day into Sunday night and Monday. OK, so if you suffer from fibromyalgia, if you have any migraines, aches and pains are likely for you late Sunday into at least part of Monday. Temperatures right now 38 in Hot Springs, 45 in Martinsville, 43 as we speak in Danville and South Boston, much warmer in Roanoke at 53, 46 Lynchburg, 44 Hillsville and Galax for tonight. Skies are clear, going to have only a light breeze around. It's going to be pretty cold overnight lows tonight, 20s and a couple of lower 30s for tomorrow. Temperatures climb above average as we're still mostly sunny. Friday is a fantastic day to spend some time outside as it is indeed going to be a very pretty day. Your extended forecast 56 Saturday highs only in the 40s on Sunday. Sunday is very wet leftover showers in the Monday 51 and then behind that cold front Tuesday temperatures plummet upper 30s and lower 40s for a high on Tuesday and then temperatures rebound a bit one week from today. We look to dry out Tuesday through Thursday of next week. Next week.